Now that we've got all the Ryzen 7000 variants, meaning that we've got the X chips, the X3D chips, and the non-X chips, B650 boards have started to lower in price. So I decided that we'd take a look at an MSI board that we recently received, the B650 Edge Wi-Fi. But as usual with our motherboard content, these videos are not reviews. They're just overviews so we can take a bit of a look at what's physically on the board and what comes in the box with a brand new motherboard. Let's dive in. Ladies and gents, let's check out the MSI MPG B650 Edge Wi-Fi. But first, let's get the motherboard out of the box so we can take a bit of a closer look at everything that comes in the box with a brand new motherboard. Check this out. This product contains a button battery. Keep out of reach of children. Swallowing can lead to chemical burns, perforation of soft tissue and death. That is very serious. There is a bunch of stickers here from MSI. This is basically, you know, love it or hate it, it's there. There's also some documentation, a quick installation guide, and some European regulatory guidelines things. There's also a set of spare M.2 clips for the M.2 slots on this board. You don't need to use screws anymore because you got these. And there's also a set of SATA or SATA cables for your 2.5 inch SSDs or those aging spinning rust drives. There's also two antennas for the built-in Wi-Fi 6E and the Bluetooth. Yes, there's full wireless connectivity. All right, let's unsheath the B650 Edge Wi-Fi and take a little bit of a closer look at everything that is on this board so you can know what you're getting yourself into if you're buying this board. First up, we've got the front panel audio header. There's also a 4-pin 12-volt RGB header. There's an LED switch, so if you wanted to turn the RGB off, you can just flick this switch and it's off. There's two PWM fan headers as well, so that's for plugging in your fans and water pumps and anything that you like. There's also two USB 2.0 front panel headers. This is typically used for RGB controllers and liquid coolers. There's two SATA or SATA ports for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rust drives. And the front panel header for all your lights on your switches to let you know your system's up and running. There's a PWM fan header along the edge of the board, a right angled USB 3.2 header, four more SATA or SATA ports for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rust drives. There is a USB type C front panel header, there's the 24 pin power connector to send juice to your brand new B650 Edge Wi-Fi. There's another PWM fan header. There is a postcode LED array that will allow you to diagnose your system if you're having any problems when you're starting up. And a three pin five volt addressable RGB header. Along the top right hand edge of the board, there's another four pin 12 volt RGB header and three more PWM fan headers for things like liquid coolers, CPU fans, and all that jazz. There's two 8-pin EPS power connectors to send juice to your brand new Ryzen 7000 CPU. This board supports all the X variants, the non-X variants, and the X3D variants as well. There's a hidden PWM fan header that is in line with the top M.2 slot as well. Thought I'd add that in just in case you were wondering. Now, for PCIe slots, the top slot is a PCIe Gen 4 by 16 slot. The second one down is a PCIe 4.0 by 2 slot. And the little one down the bottom is a PCIe 3.0 by 1 slot. The VRM layout is kind of beefy for this board. It's a 14 plus 2 plus 1 phase duet power rail system with 80 amp power stages. And if you take a look at the heatsink on the top of the IO cover, the whole IO cover is a heatsink for that VRM, as well as a chunky heatsink at the top of the board to help with cooling as well. This board uses AMD's AM5 socket or LGA1718 and has standard AM4 and AM5 cooler mounting. If we pop that socket open, you can take a bit of a look at what's going on in there. Just in case you've never seen inside of an AM5 socket, it is an LGA socket now, so all of the contact pins are inside the socket and they're no longer on the CPU for AMD CPUs. And if we flip the board over, you can see that there's not much going on back here. They do have little labels for keep out zones, so don't put your standoffs there. There's also the integrator backplate for the back of the LGA1718 socket. For RAM, the B650 Edge Wi-Fi supports up to a total of 128 gigs of RAM at 6600 mega transfers when overclocked. All right, let's pull the heat sinks off so we can take a bit of a look at the M.2 situation on this board. The board has a total of three M.2 slots, which is pretty standard for a B650 board. The top M.2 slot is a PCIe Gen 5 x 4 M.2 slot, 
and the other M.2 slots are PCIe Gen 4 by 4 M.2 slots. So as mentioned, three slots for storage in total. These boards no longer have screws for putting in the M.2 drives, and I'll just show you how this works quickly. Just slot your drive into the M.2 slot, lower it, and then clip it in, and no more screws. These MSI boards also have labels on every slot to tell you exactly what they are and what they do. In terms of that rear I.O., we've got a BIOS flashback button, we've got an HDMI port, a display port, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, a whole bunch of USB 3.2 and USB 2.0, we've got USB Type-C, we've got the antenna connectors for the built-in Wi-Fi 6E, and the audio interface with optical and speed of output for 7.1 digital surround sound, as well as an integrated I.O. shield. But you know what time it is, ladies and gents? Cinematic mode. Gents, I hope you enjoyed the overview of the B650 Edge Wi-Fi. In terms of the feature set of this board, it's actually looking quite good for the amount of money that this thing costs. And I've got to just talk about this a little bit because as we know, tech is going up in price. That's just how the world is right now. It looks like we're heading into a little bit of a global financial crisis again with a couple of US banks collapsing over the last couple of days. So that could impact the market when it comes to pricing. But right now it's pretty hard to say, but we have seen quite a bit of a downturn in tech and also tech YouTube at the moment as well, which is why we've kind of been releasing a little bit less content because there's not as much stuff coming in for us to cover. That being said, if you are interested in the B650 Edge Wi-Fi from MSI, they're going for 259 US dollars, around 409 Aussie dollars at the time of making this video. With saying that, again, in terms of price compared to last generation, we can't really compare that anymore because different technology, DDR5, all of that jazz. DDR5 memories come down in price as well, but things are just getting more expensive because unfortunately that's the world that we live in. And for a B650 board with the feature set that this thing's got, 259 US dollars or around 409 Aussie dollars isn't looking too bad. And I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you like the music you heard here, that's me. I make all the music. And if you like this video, please throw us a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed for more. And I'll catch you next time. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek. We seek and I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. And I didn't break the monitor on purpose. Well, yeah, Claire didn't break it on purpose. I think we talked about this already. <laughs> someone's but gonna say someone's, someone's gonna it comment. Was an what happened to the monitor? Claire happened. It's cooked. It's cooked. Look. It's okay. Whoa! I just made it way worse. <laughs> <laughs> It's cooked. Oh no. Oh wow, I can't, wow. That is way worse, I might as well just finish no, no, it. No, 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 <laughs> It's cooked. It's still fine. Look, it's recovering. It's healing. It's still healing. Oh my goodness. It's still usable, oh, leave it's, it alone. It's so bad. Stop. It's like a touch screen, look. It's awesome, just reacting to my Stop. touch. Reacting to the touch. It's actually just a wallpaper, guys. Yeah, it's a wallpaper. A touch-sensitive wallpaper. Now you cooked it. <sighs>
I love this monitor so much. Why did you do this, Claire? It was an accident. Too much <sighs> cod. I had to teach you a lesson. Oh, look, it's black there. Why now. Is it <laughs> I've got a crosshair now, at least. 